from San Francisco. It's The Cube. Here is your host, Jeff Frick. Hi, Jeff Frick here with The Cube. We are on the ground at the San Francisco Marriott Hotel in uh, downtown San Francisco at Location and Context World 2014. It's an interesting show. It's kind of small, um, intimate. Which is, which is fun when uh, shows are first getting started that way because there's a lot of interaction, people are really sharing ideas and, and, and doing a lot of business. Um, so we want to come out, get an update on what's going on, and I'm joined here by my next guest, Miguel Gamino, the acting CIO of the city and county of San Francisco. Welcome. Yeah, thanks for having me. So what brings you down here? We had uh, Mayor Ed Lee on briefly at, um, at Salesforce. He was giving away three million, three million uh, meals with Benioff for Thanksgiving, which yeah. was terrific, but what are you doing at, a, at this show? Well, I think uh, public Wi-Fi was what we're here to talk about. And San Francisco has prioritized that as a core public service. And so we've done a lot with uh, SF Wi-Fi in the last 12 months. Um, Mayor Lee's, you know, one of his priority initiatives. And as it relates to location and context, you know, Wi-Fi and connectivity in general is uh, a core requirement for those location and context apps. So that's an interesting, that's an interesting point of view that, that that the city of San Francisco and at least specifically feel that, that public Wi-Fi is a real priority. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we uh, launched 32 parks recently uh, in partnership with Google. Um, and at that uh, press conference and in the official release from Mayor Lee, it, he very specifically stated it as a top priority of his administration. So it's, uh, it's unambiguous that this is something we're gonna continue pressing forward with. And what is kind of the foundational things that he thinks that will enable that either were not possible before or going to enable new things that he's excited about or not, not just he, but the, but the administration of San Francisco? Well, you know, it's a really wide uh, array of, of things that we think connectivity and specifically free high-speed public Wi-Fi will enable. And some of that is uh, the, the digital divide uh, concept, right? So uh, there will be people that will now be connected that otherwise were not. Um, there will also be a segment of people that are now connected that otherwise uh, found it to be expensive or you know, they would be connected in a limited way because of either cost or availability. So, uh, and then there's a lot of people that were connected anyway um, and will be h high users of the system for more robust applications. So it's really the, the whole spectrum of citizens that we feel will benefit and, and enjoy uh, robust public Wi-Fi. And then where are you um, kind of in the rollout of that whole process? So uh, in the last 12 months, we've made major progress. We uh, launched SF Wi-Fi on Market Street all the way from Embarcadero to Castro. Uh, and we've, uh, like I mentioned, we launched it in 32, 33 parks okay. and uh, plazas and rec centers uh, with the help of Google and their financial donation. Um, and we're now actively moving forward with uh, SF Wi-Fi in libraries and museums, uh, and we're identifying kind of the next priority grouping uh, going forward. But it's we're going to press forward aggressively. Excellent. So it begs the question, um, and you're the CIO, acting CIO. I don't know what the other guy. They should just give you the job. Um, is there is there a uh, kind of a renewed app focus uh, in the city and the county in terms of having you know services that are delivered via this Wi-Fi platform and really a, you know kind of a renewed focus on what that's going to enable in terms of the city um, serving the, the, uh, the constituents? Well, that, that's one thing that I talked about in, in my keynote, which was, you know, I don't think we're in the role of trying to build every app or, or figure out how to solve every problem. I think we are the, the infrastructure, the enabler to the creative people at Uber and uh, Message Drop and other places that have fantastic ideas and talent to develop those apps. The government does play its role, and we have uh, 311 um, on an app-based platform, so we can deliver 311 services to mobile users. Uh, we have SF Park for a parking location. Now what's 311? I learned about 211. So 311 is is a, a single way to access all city services. Okay. So you can you can dial 311 on a telephone and ask questions about any city service, and they'll direct you to the right place. And we're basically uh, replicating that service uh, on an app platform. But so there's a couple of specific ways that the government will get all the way down into the app development world of it. Mm -hmm. um, but largely, like I said, the apps are gonna come from the developer community that's here. Uh, and my role is to talk about how I'm going to deliver infrastructure to help them enable their creativity. Awesome. 
Um, any other uh, kind of high level initiatives you'd like to share on the technology side with the city? Well, we're actively doing a lot around open data. Uh, we're actively doing a lot um, within the, the innovation office with uh, entrepreneurs and residents, and we did a hackathon recently that actually resulted in a pretty um, popular application at the airport that is also location and context based that helps the blind navigate, not only navigate around the airport, but also be contextually aware of their surroundings. So it doesn't just tell them where to go, it tells them that there's a Starbucks at two o'clock and 40 feet, that there's a restroom um, at eight o'clock, uh, 40 feet away. So it, uh, the feedback that we've heard is that for maybe the first time, um, they're not just being directed to their destination, but they're aware of, the, of their surroundings. Of and so that's, you know, that's the kind of thing, it's a perfect example where we're just trying to present the challenges and present the kind of the, the infrastructure and the support and then let the creative minds out there yeah. help us solve So those. how did you do that hackathon? I'm just curious. So did you get together some of the local tech companies and you had a, you had a challenge and, and you brought them pizza and beer or, or they, they brought <laughs> their own pizza and beer probably? I mean, that's kind of an interesting concept to use a hackathon to solve, you know, kind of a, a, a good problem that needed solving. Yeah, the, um, it was our, uh, the mayor's office of innovation um, and Jay Nath is our uh, chief innovation officer. So he spearheaded that. and. Um, brought together problems and, and problem solvers. Uh, and what I described was just one example. There's yeah. a bunch of others that came Is out of it. Is that like an program. ongoing program? They do it every uh, I think so often? Or uh, they, I think they're evaluating um, how to replicate it or how often to do it or, and that sort of thing. But um, the outcome of this one was, was, was pretty good. Yeah, awesome. Well, thanks for stopping by. Uh, Miguel from the uh, acting CIO city and county of San Francisco talking about, um, yeah, we're live, so things happen. Watch out. Uh, talking about location <laughs> and context-based services um, in the San city of San Francisco, really looking at uh, high availability, high-speed Wi-Fi as, as, a, as a public service. Yeah. So, thank so you. please, uh, if, you, if anyone uses it, uh, <laughs> hashtag us on, on Twitter. What's the hashtag? The hashtag is hashtag SF Wi-Fi. SF uh, Wi-Fi. And tell us what you think about it. Uh, okay. we're, we're actively listening, and we want feedback so that we can continue to expand and improve the system in a way that's really meaningful to the user. Awesome. So it's in parks and it's on Market Street, right? Yep. All right, super. So uh, thanks again for stopping by. Yeah. Jeff Rick here at Location and Context World, downtown San Francisco at the JW Marriott. You're watching theCUBE.